At Adafruit, we just got this really interesting material. It's a stainless steel fiber, and you can felt with it. You can use needle felting to make a 3D object like this banana, and then I felt it on some keypad buttons, and today I'm gonna show you how to use that with the Makey Makey. To start needle felting, you'll need a piece of soft upholstery foam, some wool roving, and for this project, your stainless steel fiber. You'll need some scissors to cut that. Felt is a matted fabric made by interlocking the scales on the fiber with these barbed felting needles. Begin with small wisps of roving laid down in an opposite pattern to give the fibers a head start on interlocking. Then grab your felting needles and gently poke over the entire surface. I learned how to needle felt from my friend Moxie, who's a great fiber artist, and we made this video together about her pinball bumper necklace, and it's a really great primer on needle felting, so definitely check that out. Once you've got a nice base started, you can form it into a 3D object by just rolling it up and keep on poking and adding fiber until it turns into a banana. Keep in mind that wherever you poke will get smaller and more tightly matted, so that can help you with contouring. Now it's time to make the button pads, and a little of this stainless steel fiber goes a long way, so pull off just a small wisp and tangle it up to get ready for felting. Decide where you want your button and start felting it onto your object. It may look like a mess now, but remember that it'll only be a fix where you make your pokes. got your basic shape, you can capture those loose wisps by twisting your felting needle around and making pokes to attach them into the rest of your button pad. Apply more metal fiber where you want more buttons to be, but be careful not to short the buttons together by accidentally felting through to another button. Pull out your Makey Makey and clip the alligator clips to your felt buttons. Some of my buttons did end up being shorted, so I wanted to show you how to fix that problem. I cut apart the felt, which may seem like a drastic measure, and look, oops, it's not yellow all the way through. But we can fix it, and here's how. Take some more wool roving, which remember is not conductive, and twist it up and put it in between the cut sections of felt. This loose roving will act as glue between the sections. You can leave the Makey Makey plugged in as constant assurance that you haven't again shorted the two buttons. Repeat this patching process until all of your sections are back together and you have no shorts. Add some more roving until your object is solid again and make sure to use shallow pokes. Now it's time to make some music. Here's Tom to try it out. The Makey Makey acts like a USB keyboard, and on the back side of the board, there are some headers for you to connect different keys, and you can even reprogram it so that they mean whatever button presses you'd like. There are a bunch of fun examples of Flash apps on the Makey Makey website for you to try out with your new banana phone. You can also use this rather unusual material to incorporate into items you already have. Maybe you want buttons on the sleeve of your wool sweater, or you want to turn your socks into an iPad controller. Well, you can do all of that with this, and if you make a project, please show it to us in the Adafruit Flickr pool or on our weekly show and tell on Google+. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.